um, I did two separate research projects last semester. Um, one was dealing with functional behavior assessments, or FBAs, and it was an issues paper, so I had to ask a question, and my question was, does research from functional behavior assessments translate into the classroom? And then my other project had to do with an intervention project, and I chose off-task behaviors of a specific student. The reason I chose uh, functional behavior assessment to use as my issues project is I am one of the implementers of functional behavior assessment at Charleston High School and it is an issue very important to me and the students that I work with. My other project last semester had to do with um, coming up with interventions in order to um, help to change a behavior and that's what I did in my applied behavior analysis class. Both of my projects I was able to use in my classroom and with um, as a practicing professional. And what's nice is that uh, with the issue in special education uh, for the class we were to kind of take two sides and so th through that Stephanie was able to do research and uh, find what was out there, uh, but also how to make it applicable to teachers and staff. Uh, and that's very important for our, our field of special education, that how to, that hands-on. What I liked about this project particularly was um, in our applied behavior analysis class, we're always talking about um, student behaviors that might interfere with their learning and how we can as special education teachers, um, not only help that student, but also provide information for the general education or the content area teachers as well. What Stephanie's project did was really truly demonstrate the importance of that. The thing that I also liked about this project was that it really took all the research that Stephanie had done between mm -hmm. um, Dr. Edmonds Barron's class and our class and put it into practice. The great thing about both classes that I was able to choose something that I do all of the time, but really get into it in depth. So I have to do functional behavior assessments on all of the students that I have on my caseload. So it was something that I do all the time. And as a practicing professional, I kind of knew some of the, the issues that might be with it, but I knew it was a mandated thing that I needed to do as well. So it was interesting to really delve into the research and because it was something that I had never done before. I had never really, it was something I knew I had to do, but just looking at the research of um, what is being done, the pros, mm -hmm. the cons, and then being able to give my own opinion into that of how that all works in um, was very interesting and I'm actually carrying over quite a bit of that into this semester. And same thing with the applied behavior analysis class. Again, be, I have to take that data, I take that all the time, mm -hmm. but really being able to put it, getting into the research, Again, it was, you know, just taking that extra time to look at new things that maybe, it just seems so simple, and that's why I picked some simple things that I can definitely do and I can do with other students that I have within my classroom too. My personal experience as a professor is that there's a real difference here at Eastern in that um, at both levels, undergraduate and graduate, um, there's an expectation that the students will go out into real life, breathing, living, moving classrooms <laughs> and use the knowledge that they have. Mm 